respectable performance in terms of his average wow. anyway because he's gonna win yeah just a case of when but it's gonna be three sets to one fairly soon Uh, I think for Hendricks, it's become a little too much for him, hasn't it? It has. And uh, I think he suddenly became aware of who he was playing. Having won the first set, one would have thought it would have had the opposite effect, and his confidence would have grown. But uh, anything but. 85. We've said, haven't we, all along through Taylor's career, he's got a nail in when he's below par. And at 91.35, that's below par for Taylor by some way. 79. Can't all be down to bad luck. Some, somehow it's got to be to do with the delivery of the dart. himself on the ball but I think the situation now in this match is Taylor knows that uh, he's got an easy ride I don't normally say that Stuart even oh, though that 180 no, 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 has to be applauded Taylor knows that it's here for his for him to lose rather than for the other man to win 53 Jerry, you require 111. So, Nelson for the Dutchman. Needed treble 17 for tops. Beating himself up now. 51. Fairly required 53. This will be a ninth consecutive leg. Tops for Taylor. Oh, yes. and the yeah, as you can see, that was for Philip Taylor. From the power and the 177. We've had the uh, three 180s from this lad who's uh, called electric. And <laughs> the switched off for some time now. There are still three more maximums needed to reach that special landmark of 100, 180s on the day. 59. Gary Anderson, by the way, 19, 19 yes. 180s in his match against John Bowles. Well, this is my 20th season doing World Championship for uh, Sky and uh, Stuart. I've got to put that game, uh, 19 180s from Anderson. What a what drama, what theatre. Certainly among the top 10 that I've commentated on. And that represents a lot of matches. Uh, I'll sit down and think about them uh, at some point, but uh, I'd be very surprised if it was out of the top ten. Tremendous game to uh, describe. Hendrick's girlfriend. That's right, Lizette. From the city of Venlo, as I say, on the German border, and uh, 2003 was voted the greenest city in Europe. 100,000 people there, so uh, sizable place. 140. the 12 yes uh, uh, there we are. he has his own way of doing it well plus 18 does live 94 so uh, which is treble 18 uh, th th there is method in his madness uh, if madness indeed it is still waywardness from Taylor 44 convincing this performance but, uh, as we said before he'll pick up oh you better believe it oh well, don't think Henry's expected that either. Double five to stop the rock. 55. 
never looked likely, John. Well, given Third that he just hit double 19. top, I really fancied that he would actually be at least very close to double five. Now, double 16. Brilliant. And Absolutely brilliant. Yes. Third it was brilliant, John. Second he summed it up Third perfectly. 99 runners. finish from Phil Taylor. In a hurry now, isn't he? Yes, let's get it over and done with. He's now, having lost three legs 100. out of the first four, taken ten on the trot. No real sign of uh, the recovery. The electric can spark a revival. It has to start straight away. It's been a heck of a day here at the World Championship, it really has. Taylor against Thornton. Mouthwater on December the 23rd. Great switch again from Taylor. 90 average. But more than enough, John. There was cause for concern for Taylor when he lost the first set. Hendrix played well, measured him, 2-1-8 is apiece. But uh, like Rabbit in headlights, as I said, I think he's uh, stared defeat in the face virtually ever since even though Taylor hasn't been at his best and well, echoing what we said earlier Taylor will be glad that he isn't playing anybody else who's been up there today frankly I do believe this young lad 18. has talent I do Billy believe that he's a better player than we're seeing but uh, and I do believe there's a reason for this performance I think it's the occasion has just got the better of him and he'll learn from it Pat. 24 missed darts a double from Phil Taylor in this match. But he's about to win his 11th consecutive leg. Yeah, and, and he's guilty now of throwing the dart. All three there, really putting more power behind it than as Taylor gets the double 10 that he needs to. And it's counterproductive. And that's the anxiety that he feels that causes him to do that. Thornton, if he is watching this, 60. will be thinking, I hope you play like this on Sunday, Mr. Taylor. But somehow I don't think he will. Fifty-nine. Yes. Well, that's my bait, Zippy. I'm sure I'm sure Taylor's frustrated by his performance. Absolutely. 33. But um, the Hendrix has just completely gone to pieces his game. I wonder where Bungle is. He's usually here, isn't he? But uh, maybe he couldn't get here today. 46. Thought Taylor was going to bungle it after the first set, Stuart. No, I didn't really. I never thought that once a one set lead was sufficient. He's trying to talk himself into. Delivering the goods. Fifty-eight. Strange old game, isn't it? Strange old sport at times. Is this going to be yet another 180 today? Oh, it would have been nice, inching towards 100 in the day. Somehow I have a feeling we're not going to get there, Stuart, quite. 97. 100. 
you see, he was shot, he put in the shot there, wasn't he, with that last one? Really, if he'd have had a shot in his hand, he'd have gone some distance. Yeah, good stuff from Taylor to lead Shanghai on 20s, nudging his average to approaching 90. Can he win it here? Well, he can win it here with 20 and tops. 12 legs in a row to the power. He's in round three. He'll beat Robert Thornton on Sunday. Well, it's been some day of the dance, hasn't it? Quite astounding what we've seen in the two sessions. Annie Hamilton, a 4-1 winner over Richie Burnett. 10-1-80s from Hamilton. Dave Chisnell, Daryl Gurney, 4-1 to Chisnell. 21 180s in that match. Gary Anderson, an unbelievable match against John Bowles, 4 3 victory. Terry Jenkins, a 4 1 win over uh, John Parts. Paul Nicholson going out of the competition, beat by Robert Thornton. And Thornton will be up against Phil the Power Taylor in the last 16 of the competition. Afternoon session, Saturday, December 22nd, if you're worried about what day of the week it is. Uh, Kevin Painter, Ronnie Baxter, Mark Webster, Colin Lloyd, Raymond Van Barneveld, who averaged 108 in his first round match, takes on Brendan Dolan. In the evening session, Wes Newton, Scott Rand, Simon Whitlock, Colin Osborne, and Adrian Lewis against Dennis Evans. Let's hear from Phil Taylor right now. Phil, you're safely through. You won uh, 12 legs on the trot there after losing the first set. Just give us your verdict, if you will, please. Can I just get this young lad here? You can. Yeah, please, one second. Yeah. Just handing his darts out to... Uh, Couple of the young fans. Just give us your yeah, fine. Just give us your verdict on your performance and uh, the result on the victory. Uh, for, I'm, I'm happy with 4-1. Obviously, I'm not happy with my performance. I was trying everything, and I, the more Jerry was struggling, I think the more I was I was struggling myself. I just kept thinking, I felt sorry for him. And it's weird. I've never done that before. I never felt sorry for anybody anybody before. But it was his first time. He was nervous, and I just lost concentration. I was I was trying to gene myself up the crowd were on my side and, and trying to get me going and the Dutch were on Jerry's side you know and it was hard work it really was we saw you trying to gene yourself up and, and, and it was evident you were giving it a hundred percent but sometimes it just doesn't happen if we knew why that was we were millionaires but can you put your finger on it I am a millionaire <laughs> what you're about? <laughs> well you you are I'm not can you put your finger on why you just couldn't quite get going no, no, I wish I could, I, I, Rod, I, wish, I really wish I could, I, I would bottle it and sell it and, and give it to the other players. I think as a couple of us have struggled tonight, there's been some good games, but I don't think they've been, you know, over the averages, massive averages type of thing, but everybody's trying too hard, I think, I don't know what it is, I think everybody's coming up here and, and trying to, to get 112 averages every leg, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. And against Jerry, I knew he was nervous, I lost the first set, which, which gave me that little bit of a spurt, and then... I could see he was struggling. It's horrible, it really is. And I saw the same with Michael as well. I hope Robert struggles next round. You know. Well, it is Robert Thornton next, as you're saying. We know he's given you a, a few problems this season on TV, and we've seen that happen. Will that be motivation for you? Do you need motivation? I think both. I think Robert and myself do. I think Paul was very, very unlucky tonight. I know Paul's going to be absolutely gutted. And I did think Paul was going to beat him tonight, to be honest with you. Um, but I think Robert will, will feed off that now and get ready for the next round, and so will I. You know, both of us know. The next round, if you play like that, then you're out. It was, it, there's no two ways about it. You know, you don't win a world championship by playing. I don't know what my average was, but it wasn't very good. It was just fractionally over 90. Yeah. <laughs> you're worse than Dave Bloody Clark, you are. Shut up. It's it's terrible, you know. You try and, sell, you try and lift the roof. I mean, look, I'm sweating here, and I don't normally do that. I'm trying to lift the roof off the building. You're trying everything. But sometimes it doesn't happen. And, you know, and now I can go back tonight. I can have a good night's sleep. Get ready, get ready for Sunday now. Well, we'll see you on Sunday against Robert Thurston. Good luck then, Phil, and thanks for talking to us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Well, it's a flat-sounding Phil Taylor. Um